Welcome back to my channel. We are back. We are refreshed. I've been away. I had a really lovely time and do you know what? It was exactly what I needed. Although I did get back with the worst illness that I've had in a little while and I had tonsillitis. I haven't had tonsillitis in so long. My throat, oh my goodness, but I feel okay now. It was actually very short lived, but I feel like every time I go away at the moment, I come back and I spend a week recovering or catching up on work. So it actually puts me off going away because I feel like it just stresses me out. But yeah, we're back, we're recovered, we're feeling good and I'm ready to get going with my YouTube channel again. And I feel like I'm in a much more positive space now. So that's good. But today is Wednesday. I wanted to get back on track with you guys and just spend the day with you, cook some yummy recipes and just go over how I'm kind of getting back motivated and getting back on track after having a bit of a shitty few months and also just having a little bit of time off as well as you guys know. It's actually just gone at 10 o'clock. I'm kind of hungry, kind of starving and I just went to get my ingredients out for the recipe that I want to make this morning for breakfast and I'm missing half of the ingredients so I've just sent Kieran to the shop to pick up the last few bits and then we can get going. So we're actually going to make some baked oats this morning but I kind of wanted to do a bit of a meal prep with my baked oats because I'm kind of busy over the next couple of days so I figured if I have my breakfast sorted there's no reason as to why I shouldn't start the day right. So this morning we're gonna be making raspberry and peanut butter baked oats. And in a minute, I'll be able to show you the ingredients that we need. And he's arrived with the ingredients. Thanks, darling. Oh my God, your hands, babe. Oh, it's freezing out there. So to make my baked oats, we're gonna need some peanut butter. This is from on top. I love this one. It's the drizzly one and it's so easy to put on top of things. So I'd really recommend this. It's just a little bit more runny. Then we've got some yogurt, milk, women's best fit pro way in vanilla, oats, baking powder, and finally some raspberries. <laughs> baked oats which are now ready to go in the oven at 180 degrees C for around 20 to 30 minutes but you just need to check it and there we go there are my raspberry and yogurt meal prep baked oats now I just need to portion it up obviously that's it cool and then we'll add the peanut butter I definitely should have lined this tin but anyways insane this actually looks like a gooey cake i'm so excited can we just look at that texture and that is my baked oat breakfast meal prep for the next few days oh my goodness this looks and smells unbelievable now for the all important taste test. These are just so spongy. Oh my God. Mm. Yum. I am convinced, right, that I got on well after my flight because I didn't take my vitamins away with me. I feel like whenever I go away, I always forget to take my vitamins away with me. So maybe that's the reason as to why I get unwell. No, but these 
ones from Women's Best are so good. They are the Jelly Babies and they're multivitamins and you have to take four of them. So it's like having sweets every day, which is just great. And then I also take one of these, which is a vitamin D3. Mm -hmm. I always have to concentrate so much when I take vitamins. I just had to run like 50 errands before going to the gym. So I just had to pick up a snack because I feel like leg day needs some fuel. Otherwise, <laughs> we're going to be flagging. Um, I actually did my first leg day back on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. And it went pretty well. I just, when it's like my first time back after having some time off, instead of focusing on, you know, like in my mind being like, right, I need to go lighter, you know, I need to take it easy. All I do is just listen to my body and see how I feel. And if I can push the weight up, I'll push the weight up. I think a lot of people, like after having time off, they purposely kind of go lighter and stuff. And yes, definitely, you should see like how you feel. Normally you will feel weaker, which is very normal. But if you can go heavier, go heavier form permitting though and I always recommend filming yourself I know it's my job to film myself but <laughs> if you film yourself you can see your form and then you'll know if you're doing it right and you'll know if you should go up and wait mm, nothing beats a squares bar nothing I was thinking right even though like even though I've just meal prepped I already feel more put together and like prepared for the next few days because I've meal prepped and I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's so true. When you kind of make a plan and you make steps towards getting back on track, you feel like you've achieved something. And I always say when you're writing a plan for yourself to get back on track or maybe just a plan in general, it needs to be realistic because otherwise you're not going to feel a sense of achievement and you're not going to feel like you've accomplished something. So if you've had some time off, just make it realistic. <laughs> Gym sesh done. It's now time for some lunch, guys, because I'm very hungry. You know when you finish the gym and you're ravenous? That's me right now. So for lunch, we're gonna be making a pasta salad because it's so easy to meal prep and it tastes so good. And it's also really easy to cook. So these are the ingredients that you wouldn't need. So to make this, we're gonna need some chicken. We've got some mayo, pasta. I'm using this one. It's like a small rigatoni. We've got some Nando's Peronese, of course, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, and some low fat halloumi. I get this one from Sainsbury's because I get asked about that all the time. I'm pretty sure all supermarkets do it now. <laughs> Is my Nando's pasta salad and now it's time to serve it up I'm going to divide it into four portions this honestly smells so good and I actually can't wait to eat it it's one of my favorite things to meal prep because you don't have to reheat it if you want to eat it you can just literally eat it cold and that way it's just super easy to meal prep and eat for the week okay taste test Kieran's actually having one of these I've generously given you one how's that generously you cook for me. <laughs> is this warm, then? Yeah, it's nice and warm. You've got to rate it out of 10. What sauce is in it? Mayo and Nando's Peronets. We've got to be honest. Yeah. What if I don't like it? Have I got to tell them? <laughs> yeah. Have you put tomatoes in there? Don't eat them. Yeah? 
Like mayonnaise and mayonnaise. Right. Really? Mmm. Yeah, it's quite good. See? Not bad at all. Yeah, he's odd and he doesn't like fresh tomatoes, but he'll eat cooked tomatoes. Different, yeah. It's not different. Oh, God. Do you know what it is? When I was younger, Dad gave me an apple from the greenhouse and I ate it like an apple. Give me a tomato <laughs> from the greenhouse and I ate it like an apple like that when I was sick. Oh. And I can't eat them now. It's horrible. To be fair, I can. Like, I think it's just I think about that moment. Let me try and eat it now. This is good. Yum. Finally got Kieran to take the blind down and put our new one up, which I'm really excited for, even though our window hasn't been fixed yet. So it's not quite how we want it, but hopefully it's going to be fixed. Pans, but there is the finished blind. I'm actually really happy with it. I feel like it kind of ties everything in well. We're still actually yet to paint this room, but for now it looks pretty cute. I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because I'm conscious it's getting quite long and I've got lots of work to do this afternoon. So I've got lots of client check-ins. My spring challenge is currently going ahead for my online coaching and Honestly, I'm loving seeing everyone's journey so far. They're sharing recipes, all their motivation, their favorite snacks that they're finding. And yeah, it's just my favorite thing to be a part of. So I've got to get on with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was good to be back. I feel definitely much more like myself, which is good and nice to say. I'm just excited to get going again. But I will see you at the same time next week, guys. Bye.